Hello friends, this is a CentOS VM and uh, I will show hard disk related commands, important commands in this video and this uh, video will be helpful for the new beginners and the developers who have, uh, who requires a little bit of knowledge for the development purpose only. So this video is going to be very interested. So friends, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. So let's start the video. First of all, using fdisk-l command, fdisk-l, this is the command through which we can take the number of hard disks and the partitions available in the server. You can see, this is a hard disk having 20 GB and these are the partitions prepared from the 20 GB hard disk. Another hard disk, uh, it is a SDA and it is having 2 GB and there is no partition available from the SDA drive. So let me say here, this is a virtual machine running on the uh, VMware player. So that's why the, this format is NVMe. But in the uh, real servers and in the uh, servers in production, you can see the uh, hard disk will be in the format of slash DEB and SDA. And the primary partition, uh, primary disk will be SDA and the secondary disk will be SDB. That means all the disks started with SDA, SDB and likewise. So, uh, NB, uh, NBME 0 partition and uh, disk will be not available there. So please remember, SDA will be the <coughs> primary disk and other disk you can add according to your requirement. So here, this is the uh, primary disk and this is the second disk, uh, the additional disk I have added here having 2 GB to demonstrate you some commands. Okay, so using fdisk-l command, you can check the hard disk related information. So now this is a hard disk I have added having 2 GB space. So now I need to create partition from the hard disk. The command will be disk slash DEB SDA. Okay. Using F disk command we can create new partitions. So please enter here. Now enter M here. M for F. F means you can see generic commands will be D for delete, N for add a new partition, P for print partition table, and likewise. So here, now we will use the P command to print the partition table. You can see no partition available here. So what we will do, now we will create a new partition using the option N. Here it is asking for me, P for primary or E for extended. So no worry, there is uh, no partitions available, so you can uh, choose the P. Because this is also the default option, we will select the P, enter the P, then partition number, default is 1, that means there is no partition available before, so I will uh, press enter here, so that it will uh, take the 1, then first sector, that means this is the uh, start, starting sector of the hard disk and this is the end sector of the hard disk, so what I will do, I will press enter here to take the first uh, sector that is 2048 then I need to enter any required size uh, from my side but what I will do here I will take entire size because this is a only 2 GB uh, drive so I will take entire size and that is the default location I will uh, simply enter here so now you can see do you want to remove the signature yes because previously there's uh, some confusion was there so I need to press enter here now you can see, use the P to print, you can see SDA partition is created from the SDA drive, this is the SDA one. So please remember, whenever we will creating partitions from the SDA, SDB or any uh, disk drive, then partitions will be in the format of SDA one, SDA two, SDB one, SDB two, likewise. So now we will save the configuration using the command W. Okay, now again check the partition and hard disk information using the fdisk minus l command sorry fdisk minus l you can see previously there was only sda now it is showing sda1 so partition is created now we need to format the partition using command according to our requirement what we will do uh, let me say here there are uh, different type of partition format available in Linux 
that is ext3 ext3 ext4 and xfs xfs so this is the partition type available uh, in the linux that we can use but uh, the most common operating system partitions are available in xfs format and uh, ext4 also according to your requirement we can use but uh, let me show you the command mkfs dot ext4 this is for the ext4 partition then uh, uh, drive partition name db da1 this is the partition name so here we can use the ext4 for the ext4 partition or xfs xfs for the xfs partition so let me create the xfs partition <coughs> sorry sda sda1 you can see command is wrong there because uh, i have written here you can see dsa1 that's why uh, error given so now partition format change with the mkfs format now check the this minus l command you can see this is the linux type m83 and the partition is formatted with the x separate format so now we can check the partitions using df minus this command also this is the command you can see this is only show you the partition information not hard disk information only the partition information so here you can see nb n1 p1 available uh, root available uh, that is uh, that partitions are mounted with the root boot and uh, slash db but sda1 is not available so how we can use the sda1 so here what we have to do first we have to create a directory mkdir let's say bkb again now mount the bkb partition slash db sda1 slash bkb what have we did here we have created a directory in uh, bkb directory in slash and we have mounted the sda1 with the bkb directory now you can check using the df hyphen h command you can see bkb is available with the 2gb space and the hard disk is the sd1 this is the partition so now uh, this is ready for the ready to use okay and if you want to check the partition type you have to use the command df hyphen th here you can see which format this one we have formatted in xfs partition uh, xfs type now you can see slash db sd1 is the xfs format so please remember whenever we are using a xfs partition format in the lvm we, we can extend the xfs partition but we cannot reduce the xfs partition this is the limitation of the xfs file format type but what is lvm if you want to know about the lvm uh, detail about the lvm i have already uh, uploaded a video in my uh, playlist so please go to that playlist and i will also provide in the i button to uh, go to the uh, playlist and check that video how to extend a xfs partition using the lvm uh, configuration so the uh, as i told you xfs having the only part, uh, limitation that we cannot reduce the partition type but we can extend using the lvm configuration so what is lvm configuration lvm configuration means so whenever we want to extend uh, this partition type that means uh, if the partition size is 2 gb and our data exceeding the limit at that time we can add another hard disk and using that hard disk we can extend the partition space of the another disk that is the lvm technology but in xfs that is the limitation that we you can extend but you cannot reduce that partition size so friends uh, in this video i have show you how to check the uh, disk and uh, hard disk and partition information using the fdisk command and uh, how you can create a partition or how you can mount a partition and how you can check the 
partition information using the df hyphen h command also we can check the partition format using df hyphen capital th command so let me tell you another thing here we have mounted this partition manually using the mount command you can see here but if you want to do it automatically what you have to do we have to add a entry in fs tab that is the configuration file available in slash etc now uh, open that uh, configuration file here you can add one line uh, at the end of the configuration right here slash db plus sda1 then give one tab now give the destination folder name then partition type is xfs then defaults you can follow from here also dfa ults defaults then zero the one space zero now save the configuration file now we have to check uh, what you have entered in the first step configuration file if this first step and configuration file will be wrong then our server will not boot properly and our server will give the control tree error if you want to know detail about the control tree error i have already uploaded a video you can check that also now we will check the first step configuration using the mount hyphen a command you can see there is no error using the mount hyphen a that means the entry in a first step is perfect and fine now what we will do we will um, um, unmount the partition using unmount command u m o u n t u mount slash db hd1 we will unmount that now check the df hyphen h you can see previously it was there now it is not available now use the mount hyphen a command to verify the configuration again you can use the df hyphen h command here you can see partition is automatically added and mounted with the slash bkb directory so this is the way we can mount automatically also that means whenever we will reboot the server this mount will be automatically appear in the uh, df hyphen h command okay so friends these are the important commands for a uh, beginner uh, in linux and also uh, the developers because they also require how to check the partition space how to check the uh, disk information how to check the partition information how to check the disk type and uh, what is the lbm they need also so this uh, video will be very very much helpful for them so friends thank you for watching this video till end so if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment thank you thank you very much